or genuine goal to show our resentment towards the government of Nagaland for their lukewarm attitude and approach towards the Federation's demand for justice to be delivered to the experience of the Nagas Nagaland state wherein the Nagaland staff selection board mortality strength have undermined and also set an injustice regulations for the aspirants. We are here to show our resentment and demand for inclusion of the exempted post and departments under Nagaland Staff Selection Board. I, while welcoming you all, would like to give you a gist of the reason behind our catering at this very afternoon. Despite rebellion appeals, meetings by the Federation with the government of Nagaland, to the government of Nagaland, for inclusive regulation in the Nagaland Staff Selection Board, the government of Nagaland have turned deaf to our appeals, to our voices, which is not only for a section of Naga society, but the aspirants of the entire Nagaland state. We are here to tell the government, like we always have been telling them, that the Nagaland staff selection board should be inclusive and not pick and choose policy. Once a law is amended, it is very difficult to go back and check what has been done and what has to be done, what needs to be addressed. Therefore, it is our sincere appeal to the government of Nagaland. We have been appealing. However, as I said, they have always turned their air to our demands. This is my sincere appeal to the aspirants, the, the students' community, those in the college universities, those preparing for examinations, and also to the concerned citizens and parents. The Federation demanding for inclusive staff selection board is for you, is for me, is for us. We shall continue to stand against this policy of pick and choose rules and regulation to, to be framed under our watch. The Federation, despite repeated calls, is constrained to come to the street to tell the government of Nagaland that our demand is genuine and it concerns the future of the Nagaland state as a whole and not confining to a section of society or a community. We are compelled to come to the street where I sincerely, on behalf of the Federation, acknowledge your participation today at the moment and also, meantime, would like to request you and again that the Federation is not going to stoop like this, stand like this. We shall continue to fight. Therefore, your participation, your cooperation in the process of our fight for inclusive regulation is sincerely so and prayed for. I also, like in this privilege, would like to acknowledge the presence of our counterpart, the Nagaland Nagasudan's Federation President and his God of loving Heavenly Father, we are thankful for this beautiful day that you have added to us as we your people gathered here today father 
We seek your guidance in our midst, where there is no justice, where there is imbalance in our society, Lord. Father, we know that you have sent your Son, Jesus Christ, in the midst of all the chaos and in trouble, Lord. Father, you want us to be free as you have created us in such a way that to see your children liberated from all sort of bondage that we go through, Lord. Today, the Federation comes together, not against the government, not against the leaders, but the policies that divides us, O oh Lord. Father, we want justice. As your word says, let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like ever-falling streams, Lord. Therefore, we want to see justice in our midst, Lord, as a brothers and sisters, as a Nagas. Lord, with this knowledge, Father, as we begin this education program, may you take complete control over us that we may not go beyond the limit that which we are about to do, Lord. Guide us, lead us, speak to the leaders. May you talk to the leaders in such a way that there may be an amicable solution without further, Lord, the course of difficulties that comes our way. Father, we thank you for this blessed time. As we begin this program, Father, guide us, lead us through. We give you all glory and honor. Lead us in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. We are, thank you, we are thankful to all of you for your presence today. I won't take much time, but I believe it is very important that we know what has been happening in our correspondence with the government of Nagaland in regard to NSSP. Therefore, I will briefly brief all of you. Therefore, I request all of you to give your undivided attention. Our first objection letter in regard to Nagaland Staff Selection Board was submitted on 2nd of March 2020. After the, that is after the government of Nagaland came up with the regulations of NSSP 2020. And again, the reminder letter was submitted on 19 June 2020. And in the month of September 11, September 11, 2020, the ENSF submitted a rejection letter along with six chart of demands. Now, many of you must be aware of our chart of demands, but I feel it is very important that we share this with you, especially to all the youngsters, the aspirants, and the students who will be sitting for an exam tomorrow. Therefore, I would like to read this out and clarify on some of the points. Initially, we had six start of demands. Number one, I will read up for all of us. In the compos composition of the board, the chairman and two members, all the three boards should be rotated amongst the recognized Naga tribes of Nagaland on roster basis to maintain fair justice and equality to all tribes. That is charter number one, chart of demand number one. And in the second chart of demand number, chart of demand we had 45% boards should be exclusively earmarked for six tribes of Eastern Nagas. That was before the recognition of our tribal uh, Tikir brothers. I'm sorry. Uh, that is Sangdam, Gunyang, Imkyong, Kemnyongan, Pom, and Jang. For 20 years, still six tribes of Eastern Nagas reaches at par with the race of the other Nagas, after which it shall be subject to review. In regard, in regard to this, I want to clarify a few things. Now, uh, in the later part, I will explain, explain on cabinet subcommittee, but you know, before we switch on to the other chart of demand, I believe uh, you all know this, but let me remind you again, in regard to our demand for 45% reservation, we have already recommended to the government that this will be reviewed after a comprehensive review, after 2021 census. Now the Gabinet Subcommittee, they have recommended for that and also we also thought we should agree on this because our sole motive is to make NSSP functional at the earliest. Therefore, for this we will uh, talk in the later part. But we have the, the uh, Cabinet Subcommittee has recommended for comprehensive review after the one census. So we agreed to that. So it is very clear now. Now, chart of demand number three. The reason why we are standing here, the reason why all of us are here today is in regard to our demand number three and four. 
Therefore, I want all of you to listen very carefully. Group CPOs, which are exempted from the purview of NSSP mentioned under Schedule A, should be brought under NSSP purview for preliminary and written exam, and other practical skill, physical proficiency, and interview should be conducted by the respective departments. Number four. Recruitment to the boss of constable, fire constable, warder, female warder in the police, prisons, Nagalin Lok Ayukta, MBDO, Home Guard and Civil Defense, and Department of Fire and Emergency Services, excise and forest cards in the EF and CC should be brought under NSSB purview for preliminary and written examination and other practical skill, physical proficiency and interview should be conducted by the respective departments. So these are the two, uh, two genuine demands that are left with. Today we are demanding that. Now, number five, examination centers for preliminary and written exam should be in all the district headquarters that the cabinet, has, um, the cabinet subcommittee has recommended. Number six, penalty provision to defaulters, departments, or concerned officer who fails to recommend the Group C level 3 and 7 vacancy post to NSSB. That also the cabinet subcommittee has recommended. So this was our uh, sixth charter of demand, and this remains the same. Now, cabinet subcommittee was constituted on 29th September 2020, headed by Deputy CM as convener purely to discuss the charter of demand placed by ENSF. We should all remember this. Just to discuss, purely to discuss the demand made by ENSF. After that, seven days ultimatum was served on 18 November 2020, but there was no positive reply from the government. So the ENSF initiated an agitation for five days from 30 November to 4 December 2020, and the agitation was uh, temporarily suspended uh, after after getting a call from the government after the uh, positive response. But so far, it has not been materialized. Now, the cabinet subcommittee submitted its report on 5th October 2021, and after that, the cabinet subcommittee was dissolved. After going to the recommended reports of the cabinet subcommittee. The ENSF submitted its discontentment letter on 12 October 2021 and on 27 November 2021 we even met our Honorable Chief Minister Shi Lifi Ryo and has highlighted about our discontentment letter and our demands. Finally, ENSF served an ultimatum on 24 February 2020, two months back, and after that we received a reply from the government, from BNR. However, the reply given by them on 14th of March was just a copy-paste of what this cabinet subcommittee has recommended. Therefore, we are still not satisfied and we will continue to fight. And it is very important to, for all of us to know that our demand is genuine. Like our chairperson has said, it is not just for a section of people, but the, for the whole of Nagas. Therefore, maybe our agitation, maybe our demands might not get fulfilled by today itself. We will come back again tomorrow. We don't care how long it takes. We will keep coming, we will keep agitating, and we will keep demanding. Therefore, I request all of you to continue to support for this cause. Thank you so much. I am delighted to be with you here today. The moment I saw the program that it should be a democratic agitation, which gives me a very good sound. The word democratic. Well, we say, or you say, that this is a solitary speech. But to me, we are all with you. EMPO. We are agitating today for this NSSP. Certain modalities is to be rectified. That's why I come to know. But that does not mean that the fight is for the Eastern people only. I understand that this for common good and for all Nagas. 
here begins the production. Therefore, I, I would like to tell you, my student friends, that uh, this kind of juncture, at this point, we should not take rest because you are going to fight for tomorrow. Not only for you today, but then for the whole Nagas tomorrow. Why we have agitated, why we have proposed this kind of a representation to the government? Because NHSSP is actually for justice. As to how you should enter in the interview, how you should be selected. In order to avoid corruption, in order to avoid pactor appointment, in order to avoid nepotism, in order to avoid tribalism, bias attitude. Therefore, this is very important. Very, very important. I come to know that certain, certain points, demands have agreed. It's okay. But then, there shouldn't be any pick and choice. There shouldn't be any right that is left out. Because the moment we say justice, that we should be complete. Justice, koi le mane, sap ito 100% justice hobo lage. Inaka no hai le mane ito, kisman uthabo, kisman bilabo, kisman pakit halibo, kisman lokabo. Inaka no kurubo. Hide and seek game na kilibo lage. Ito karne, apnangana achitishin gura hoi. Achitishna. Apnagan kiman tuk paale ki apnagan kun kun leader se itya kun ito state federation the either this NSF or ENSF leader kun kun se achhi nishna the toh toh you have to put your head together come together to sign together discuss together consult each other inka kuri ke na kam guru bola ke achhi missing hole it will take under the decade to rectify it. So, actually, I mean, the chair I've come to certain things. So, it is a genuine, genuine demand. I know, it is a genuine demand. I know, it is a I know, I make an agitation, due course of the agitation. Sometimes, I have to agitation, I have to protest, I have to protest, not in that way. It should be a democratic way of education. Why? We want to seek the attention of the government. I understand the feeling or the problem faced by the cabinet subcommittee. Yet, we are all human beings. We are all human beings. I know some day or the other, if not today, at least this evening, tomorrow, they'll have a this emergency city because we are fighting for the common cost, not that you fight for the sections of the people or our Eastern people only, but then it's for common good. So everyone should come together. Even the government should understand. Even the subcommittee, cabinet subcommittee should also understand the feeling, the pulse of our people. So I know and I have uh, confidence that the government of today, the, the cabinet subcommittee, they will also understand our this is demand. And they'll sit together, they'll discuss, and I know that God will give them the wisdom. God will give them the wisdom. And I know they'll be also praying for this, not on the bias attitude, but for common cost. Leaders, whoever may be. You may be in this uh, higher position. Secondary part, you can chief principal, you can minister, you can say, so it will be understand properly again. It will be you are a public leader. You are a government servant. You are a government, this is a public service. In the case of Rakhiti, I think, and I hope, I mean, EMP will have a number of people, I say, Achinishna, Achinishna, all of Achinishna, the Mandur, the Pesicin, and I say, Yati, Payas, Attitude, and Lobola again, the Potisan Nalopolake, 
আরো ট্রাইবেলিস লাগান লাগে সেকশন লাগান না লোক লাগে কিন্তু লিডার কিমান আছে বই আছে এই পা ঘুরে ভাবনা ঘুরে গেলে ঈশ্বর এই উইস্টম মাঙ্গি না আচ্ছি নিশ্চিন্ত ঠিক সেট করেছে প্লে গোল মানে এল বি গুড ফর নাকাস টুমারো আর তার নাম বি ইন্দাম হব এটা আমার ভাবে আছে হব আমি আপনার লাগা ডিমান্ড তো এটা আপনার লাগাই নয় কিন্তু আমার সব লাগা প্রবলেম আছে বা মা পর দুই কিন্তু সব পাঁচটা প্রবলেম আছে এই যে কমন প্রবলেম আছে এই কারণে আজি আপনার ডিমান্ড কোন ঘুরে আছে বড় ডাক এই ঈশ্বর টকট মাং কিনে ডেমোক্রেটিকালি ঘুরেবি পিসফুল আজিটেশন ঘুরেবি এনেকা ঘুরে কিনে কালি পার্সন আপনার কাম ঘুরাই তো ডিমান্ড ঘুরাই তো সাকসেস ঘুরে কিনে নাকা মানুষ এই শান্তি একটা রাখি দিব কারণে আপনার কোচস করেবি আমি এ এম পিও লাগার নামতে আচ্ছা হলে বি আপনার আমি যে সেলফ দিছে থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ আর আমি কান্দি এই তো আপনার বিহাইন্ডে ওটাই সপোর্ট থাকি থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ The purpose of my joining here is to ensure that two things are delivered. One is to extend our solidarity to the family of Eastern Naga Students Federation. And the other one is to ensure that Nagaland State Staff Selection Board is met operational at the earliest possible time. My dear students, the intention behind fighting, the intention behind fighting for this setting up of Nagaland Staff Selection Board is to ensure that meritocracy is maintained, fairness is there, justice is delivered so as to enable the right person to work for our people. It is already time for us to say that the right person should be on the right job in order to bring development, in order to ensure that we are on the right track. We cannot allow the government of the day to further divide the minds of the people. As and when we felt that Nagaland State is already time to set up a separate recruitment board in order to recruit grade three post and in order to recruit the right person to the right post. But as and when we push forward this agenda, government has been confusing particularly the two federations and for which we have been appealing to the government of the day to call for both the federation to come and sort out the differences. However, till today, government is playing a delaying tactics so as to not to allow this NSSB to constitute for the welfare of the students' communities. Let me remind all of you that we are your voice and we ensure that we will lead you on the right direction. Taking this opportunity, I would like to appeal to the government of Nagaland that NSSB should make functional at the earliest possible time Certain rectification and correction which needs to be done has to be immediately rectified and corrected. And so also we appeal to all the students and aspirants to collectively come together so as to ensure that our voice is one. I am sure that justice will deliver very soon, if all of us continuously come together in this manner. Once again, I thank our Eastern Naga Student Federation for calling for this democratic agitation to fight for justice, 
It is my prayer that justice will deliver. Once again, on behalf of Naga Students Federation, we extend our solidarity and we extend our best wishes that justice is delivered to our Naga people. May God bless all of us for unified limb and glory of the Naga Skognalim. Nagaland Women Organization would like to extend our appreciation and heartfelt support to the ENSF. Today we stand in solidarity with the ENSF and demand made by ENSF. We urge the state government to understand and not take the demand put up by our ENSF for granted. The time frame provided for your study in regard to the charter of demand has come to an end with the zero effort response has come to an end from the end of the government. It is indeed painful that the state government has failed and neglected to meet the Chilean demand even after several rounds of discussion which lead to this day. The government cannot sideline any written request such as this. It is only wish to look into the matter with urgency since the demand is genuine and, the, and for the welfare of the unemployed youth for the youth of the Nagas. The students stand here today against corruption and backdoor appointment and if this the reaction of the leaders in power, the future of the Nagas will have no clarity and serenity. In this indefinite agitation, in regard to the Charter Demand 3 and 4, which pretends the inclusion of the exempted department and post under NSSP review, in law in stand with ENSF and shall continue to support until its demands are met in written and in spirit by the state government. The invoice appeal to all the brothers and sisters gathered here to carry out this agitation in a peaceful and democratic way. We pray that this agitation will be a fruitful one. Thank you. I'm standing here on behalf of six, uh, seven federal unit and bring warm greetings from the office of the seven federal unit. When we look back to our history, since from inception, we are united. And we are united till today. And it will go on when days, in days to come. The demand for the inclusion of exempted person, exempted department is a genuine demand and welfare for the aspiring students. Let me take an example from one department which was exempted. The home department alone can provide more than 30% of total job opportunity for unemployed Naga youth. The question the founder here is the main objective of constituting the NSSP is for providing fair and transparency recruitment to public job. So why the government of Nagaland is against the request of the Home Department and the Allied Department to Nagaland Staff Selection Board? For more than two years, the government is delaying in giving justice to the welfare of the Naga youth. And it is to caution that why the government is blaming delay tactics and spoiling the career and life of the aspirant citizen. Having learned all the tactics and the policies of the government, the seven federal unit, once they said the Eastern Naga Student Federation that as agreed in the beginning, we are with you and we will support you in any ways and means when and where is it required and we will stand till our demand is being fulfilled. Lastly, but not the least, 
I, on behalf of the Seventh Federal Unit, wants to thank all who are gathered here today that our united and cooperation to each other will achieve the goal for a better society. May God bless my people. Thank you. I also would like to question the discipline of the government of Nagaland, those at the helm of the governance. As how much time do they want their people, their students, their children to come to the streets to demand what is due to you of theirs? What is necessarily to be addressed for their welfare. If I were to make a mention, especially on this genuine demands placed by the Federation in regards to exempted both and departments under the purview of Nagaland Staff Selection Board, Regulation 2020, the demand of the Federation as it's the gun start, st stops today stands at two years and a month. Manu Bacha has a good one, but the kindergarten is another one. Two years is a long fight. Two years. I wonder how many aspirants from the beautiful Nagaland state. And for how long for putting the lives of the students' community, the aspirants who wishes, who dreams of becoming a public servant tomorrow, so we may see better Nagaland state is put at stake. It is our sincere appeal to the world that Nagaland government delivers justice to its people, to the rightful ones. Ladies and gentlemen, This is just the beginning of our agitation, in our fight, in our demands. Do the government of Nagaland for inclusive regulation of the Nagaland Staff Selection Board. Until and unless demands are met, justice is delivered. The Eastern Naga Students Federation, as I was saying previous before. We do not want to see pick and choose policy in the formation unless a student or a public come to the street to voice uh, out for justice, government never uh, initiate or never take decision in favor of the aggrieved party. And for which uh, this uh, protest called by Mr. Naga Students Federation is very genuine, for which uh, Naga Students Federation extends our solidarity. I want to appeal to the state of Nagaland government of the day to call uh, to federating uh, federation so that uh, differences can be sorted out in order to draw a clear roadmap so as to ensure that NSSB is made functional at the earliest possible time. Uh, it is no time for us and uh, we also would like to uh, 
mentioned, we also would like to say to the government that uh, the aspirants and young students who are unemployed, unemployed and who are more than prepared to sit for any competitive exam are exhausted, are tired because uh, examination is uh, not conducted uh, for almost two years from now. And for which uh, we want to sincerely appeal to the state government to give all possible effort so as to ensure that the, uh, there is clarity in setting up SSSB so as to ensure that SSSB is quite functional. Minister, 